Canada, Saudi accused of sexual assault disappears before trial. Authorities fear Muhammad Zarabi al-Zawabi, 28, may have left the country with help from the Saudi embassy. Here's a summary of the article. Canadian authorities are searching for a Saudi citizen accused of sexual assault after he failed to show up for a court hearing in the Canadian city of Sydney, Nova Scotia, the local Chronicle Herald newspaper said. Local police told the Chronicle Herald that al zubis passport was given as collateral when the 28-year-old student posted his $37,500 bail in cash, a hefty sum provided by the Saudi Arabian embassy. It should be impossible unless Saudi Arabia furnished him with a Saudi travel document, Lee Cohen, a Halifax-based immigration lawyer, told the Chronicle Herald. The Saudi Arabian embassy did not respond to a Chronicle Herald request for comment on al zawabi News of al zubis suspected escape will only serve to further exacerbate Canada's already poor relations with Saudi Arabia, which last year barred the Canadian ambassador to Riyadh after Ottawa criticized Saudi authorities for detaining female activists. Most recently, Canada agreed to grant asylum to a Saudi teenager fleeing abuse from her family. Brave new Canadian, Saudi teen Rahaf Alknan arrives in Canada. This post received a score of 23,656, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Between March 2012 and April 2016, Al-Zoabi racked up 34 infractions ranging from speeding, driving uninsured, driving without a valid license, unregistered and uninspected vehicles. Unpaid to this day, the fines amount to $68,967, wow. They should have impounded the car every time they caught him requiring proof of license to get it back. Wouldn't have mattered. He'd just buy another car, if they took it away from him. Perfect get a bunch of free cars to auction off. Exact LH, two seized vehicles auctioned off would quickly gain that 68k owed back. That's a grief idea. Viv ITHT the best idea ever. Mike Tyson. Tyson. Same thing happened in the States a couple weeks ago too didn't it? Guy charged it in Oregon or Washington was snuck out of the country. You're referring to this piece of trash I assume. God the girl who was killed, her mom was with her at the time. And to see this piece of shit get away with it? It must be devastating. Dot she was 15. When are we going to close the Saudi embassies in our country and tell them all to fuck off? It's clear they don't give a single fuck about our laws. About three days after the Saudi run out of oil. We are one of the few countries that don't have to worry about that all that much. It's not about the country having to worry about oil. It's about the companies and politicians that can make money off of the Saudi oil. Once they are out of oil they start running out of money. Just cause the oil runs out doesn't mean the money that it produced disappears. This is just a small example of how Saudi is diversifying their wealth through its oil money. More importantly and not so shockingly, we're finding that companies favor profit over principles in regards to taking money from less than respectable investors. IMO, this will always be the case and just recently it came out that a lot of the GOP has been getting funded through the NRA via Russia. What's amusing is that the Saudis are doing a better job of diversifying their oil money funds than Canadians are. Sadly that's true and far too many in Canada are pushing to double down on oil. Absolute scum. Edit 1, the guy. Edit 2. Yes you're correct if the Saudi embassy helped him leave the country that shows a serious lack of respect for law and order in the face of protecting one of its own citizens. With the blockade of Yemen and a continued indiscriminate bombing campaign the Saudis have a lot to answer for. Didn't they also murder one of their own citizens in a Turkish embassy for being too outspoken against the rule of the prince? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.